Improv Maxim Schmerkowski here. He's a very good friend of the show. He recently got engaged to his love, Peter Murgatroyd. What a handsome couple they are. Now, these two, obviously, Dancing with the Stars, they know how to dance beautifully, but they've made a decision that they were not going to have their first dance choreographed. Peter said she doesn't want it. Maxim would says he would like a flash mob, but he'll do whatever she wants. Fun. But I thought it was interesting. They're gonna you know. do something. They'll do yeah, something like that. Do, do, unchoreographed is better than the everyone in this here. room choreographed. I, I can <laughs> choreograph my no. first dance. Well, I, it's and it's too on the nose there, because I mean everyone expected me to sing at my own wedding, Did but I wasn't wait. gonna sing at my own wedding. I thought it was just too cheesy. Yeah. So they probably think it's too cheesy for but them I think to dance. That if I was at your wedding, I would think, oh my god, that's so great. I think you're a little humble. I'm just awkward. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking. It's probably more of a professional thing because you're a singer. You don't want to sing at your wedding. They dance and choreograph things. They probably just want to be in the moment and be in love. That's what she wants. I think yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But well, you use the choreographer, right? Well, so uh, I'm half Puerto Rican and we salsa. We love to salsa. My family loves to salsa. We dance. So at the wedding, we hired a salsa band because that's what you do when you marry a Puerto Rican. <laughs> and my husband is Irish and he has some moves, but he doesn't have like. Puerto Rican moves. So, so, so what does that mean? Like, we had to hire a specialist <laughs> <laughs> to train him. And you know what? He put in so much effort, and it made my ha my family so happy, happy to see, to him, see him try. And we had an amazing salsa band, yeah. so it was worth the few lessons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was really yeah. fun. And Megan, you you did too. How can I follow that? That is like good stuff. My husband and I, we went to Fred Astaire here in New York. Yeah. We don't know how to dance. I like grab onto a leg and hold on for dear life. <laughs> he and I, we learned our dance moves were um, from Saturday Night Fever. That's so the, the thing. Yeah, oh. No, we did the hustle. Was it quick? Yeah, it was quick. It was okay. quick, down and dirty. Mm. Oh, you know, I, our party is, is today. Yeah. Our, have you guys had office parties yet, any of you? For Christmas, yeah. yeah. Ours is today, and I'm, one of you is gonna get bombed, oh. I am uh. sure. Oh, I'm for <laughs> Do you, feel the, do you feel the pressure at, a, at an office party, Christmas yeah, party? Mom. No, uh, or, yeah. you know, how much alcohol, is it okay to drink? Do you feel the pressure to drink when you don't want to? No, I let my hair all the way you down. Do. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's a freaking flag fly. I let it fly, wave it around. I'm for sure, I'm for sure getting fired. You will not see me <laughs> on Monday, because I'm but tearing this place up. could happen. What if you suddenly kissed a boss or something? I hope I that. kiss somebody. I'm Watching things go down at a holiday oh, party. It. You could see it coming. You could see the train wreck mm. coming around. There's gonna be someone. Yeah, yeah, but you were just at somebody else's holiday party. At, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why are you calling me out today? <laughs> I was at someone's holiday party and, and it was a, a television lot. party and yeah. I was a hot mess and someone told me to stop acting like Carrot Top. Because I came in <laughs> hot. I was like, is this my oh, Carrot? That's no, bad. That is bad. Was I bad? You, you know you were bad. I know. Excited. I, That's happened to me. What you too. see is what you get. This yeah. is me, who I am. And when you see me like ten times a couple of vodka sodas, and we love you for what you <laughs> are, Megan. Yeah, I am. We, are, we yes. love you. I'm All fun. Right. Okay. I know you're fun. I'll let my freak All flag right. fly. <laughs> All right. I want to move on, guys. <laughs> We all know that trying to take away the remote from a man is like trying to take a bone away from a dog, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, according to new research, there's research that it proves why this is so. The reason men insist on holding the remote is because they claim to know far more about televisions and how they work than women. So in their minds, they know more about TV, so they know what shows would be better, too. Mm -hmm. How dare they? I don't know how that correlates, but yeah. you know. But I, I mean, buy that? well, I mean, I agree. I'm a hog with the, you the remote. Are. Yes, but my husband's fine. He he likes me be, to be in control. But yeah, I think <laughs> Let's I ask him. Uh, well, he's he's backstage. Let's <laughs> ask him. No, but I do. I love. I think I know what's great television. I, I, I'm addicted to. But TV. I, I'll be watching television. Richard will walk in the room and switch it. Mm -hmm. Not even toy. I was like, switch it. It's Excuse me. It's probably, and I know this about you. It's probably because you're watching The Bachelor. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that could be, but yeah. Yeah, once you have the remote in your hand, it's yours. It's you, you mean not how long? Possession is, what is it? Yes. Five tenths of the law, nine you tenths of the law. You set up, yeah. You uh, hold on to it? Yes. You yell at him? I take it back. You do? Yes, and I put it back on what I want. Oh. Yeah. That's yeah. That's an easy way to resolve that. Look at you. Yeah, you're like <laughs> posturing. Take my remote. There's certain things that are sacred.